This time I'm reviewing a book which I read another book video and this time I'm reviewing a book which I happened to read one book before this before I read this book and the reason I'm delayed in this review is because this book really made me angry it really put me off and I had to read another book to get out of this whole feeling and uh, that's the reason and we'll come to why it made me so angry and I have gone online and read multiple reviews to find out that I'm not the only one. A lot of people have felt this way and to be honest it's not a bad book or it's nothing to do with what's in it. It's just maybe this book is not for me or the style is not for me and that's why maybe this review is important to others who are planning to read this book and without delaying it further <laughs> the book I have uh, read and I'm gonna talking be talking about today is uh, Chumpa Lady's Unaccustomed Earth. We have heard a lot about the author. She is really popular in the literary circuit, and the book is also very popular. And uh, it's basically a collection of short stories. And uh, I don't know for some reason it's got various different types of covers. So I have seen different cover versions of it. And uh, while I hold the heart. A cover book in my hand. I did read most of it on my Kindle again because I find it so easy to read on my way to work and, and on the way back. And while I'm in the office, I try to read it on uh, EPUB formats on my system on Playbooks. So that's how I managed to cover reading my books quickly. And let's get into what this book is actually all about. So this book is basically a collection of eight short stories and it's divided in two parts. Uh, the first part has five stories, the other has three stories and while you may think that yes, there are separate short stories and the second part there are some connections drawn between the characters. Uh, overall the theme is of the Indian diaspora, uh, specifically uh, Bengalis who moved to America in the early 19. 60s to 80s and, and that period where you know uh, a lot of Indians had migrated to US and they settled there and were in big universities, uh, the Ivy Leagues and all those kind of things and mainly it focuses on the relationship angle, uh, the relationships between themselves, uh, basically the relationship with the self and with their close ones, their families and it kind of explores the kind of a very depressive uh, feeling uh, of, of what these characters are feeling and they are unable to actually articulate it and that's what the author has done really well uh, for which I may praise it that those feelings have been captured uh, quite well though the writing goes on and on and the kind of English used is not my style it's a very Indian English with very long sentences which are all over the place and they, they're not really easy to read and that's why I think this book has really appealed to one specific diaspora which is the Bengalis. Uh, I think it, they can really relate to it because the kind of picture they have portrayed uh, it relates specifically to them so honestly not a use for, for others uh, it doesn't just make sense to read about this. So there are uh, five stories in part one and the very first story which is called Unaccustomed Earth which is also the title of the book talks about a relationship between a mother and her father, a mother of a small kid and her dad who comes to visit her in her home. Uh, that's a fine one. Honestly when I started reading, I just started reading the book and I didn't even realize it's a short story. The first story goes on and on, it's just very lengthy, it's almost like a short novel to say. So it's like you can easily mistaken that it's just a regular book. And I finished the first one and I'm like starting with the second one and I'm like what's going on, why is this not finishing and then I realize it's a short story book so it's quite misleading, I mean I don't know, it didn't say anywhere that it's a collection of short stories so I was like what did I miss but yeah so that was the first one. Uh, the next one is called Hell Heaven uh, which is uh, still I think better than the first one. Uh, it's basically about a man who enters into 
a household and becomes friends with the woman in the house and the woman who's already married is kind of in a uh, she's infatuated with this guy and how she starts including him in his in her life with her daughter and those complicated relationships so that is the one about that the next one is called a choice of accommodations and this is uh, about a guy who's going to attend a wedding of his university mate a uh, college mate and he's going with his wife who is from another ethnicity and they have kids who they've left behind with their parents and now they are at this wedding but they are really not able to enjoy and it's it's about a complicated relationship this guy is having and he's unable to really know what's bothering him and his wife kind of gets affected by that so that's the next one then the fourth one is called only goodness and this is about a relationship between a sister and her brother and the entire family there on so there's sudha and rahul who are a brother and sister duo and it talks about how rahul gets into certain habits and maybe how sudha initiated that without even knowing and how it kind of spoils his whole life and the family's life but then there's a whole turn around so it's it's quite a heartwarming one towards the end and there are definitely life lessons in all of the short stories and there are things that we all have experienced ourselves so you can relate to it in in some way or the other that's the only hook i think the book is good for for me at least then we have the last one in part 1 which is called nobody's business and this is about a indian girl again bengali who's living in the us and is almost uh, getting calls every single day from specific suitors basically for marriage which her parents arrange for and she's living with these housemates but she happens to already have a relationship with one of these other guys who we don't know anything about and it turns out there's a twist again over there so this one is also decent it, i would fare it decently but uh, nothing really new <laughs> so kind of like you know you already know what's going to happen and coming to part 2 which is specifically story a story about two characters hema and koshik again who are bengalis in us in very different situations so there are three short stories here which are called once in a lifetime years end and going ashore so uh, once in a lifetime is from uh, hema's point of view when she is very young and koshik and his family has come to visit them and it's from their point of view uh, the next one years end is from koshik's point of view and going ashore is where things kind of get in, in interacted with each other as in him and koshik how their stories come around uh, to meet each other and this entire section is still fine i would feel uh, it reminded me koshik's story reminded me a lot about uh, seven moons of mali almeida if you've read that you'll know what i mean and uh, overall yeah i was very disappointed uh, by the end of the reading session i felt that I could have read something uh you know which was to my liking so I think about the book maybe it's just the way I like my books to be or the genres I like my books to be in so I would uh, rate this a 2 on 5 it's maybe because it's not so relatable to me uh but I'm sure that there are readers who appreciate it so that's it for this time and uh, guessing this was a very quick one but I'll be back with the next book that I'm reading now and I'll see you guys in that so thank you bye